Hey everybody, Pete with Optics for Birding here again. Uh, I've got another review video for you that I'm really excited to share. Uh, this is the Zeiss SFL 40 binocular that I've got in front of me here. Uh, specifically, I've got the 10 by 40, but uh, in terms of the physical size and the feel in your hands, all that stuff, the 8 by 40 would be identical. Um, it's just a change in the, the magnification. So um, this has been out since 2022 in the spring and it's quickly become one of our best sellers for a number of reasons. Um, I wanted to break down the nomenclature here first. So the, the term SFL, it's been inspired by Zeiss's very famous top of the line Victory SF binoculars. That SF portion of the name stands for smart focus. And um, what that means is that the, the focus wheel is really big and easy to turn. And it's got a really fast uh, you know, revolution rate so that when you're trying to transition between targets that are near and far or vice versa, it's really, really easy to turn and it's really, really quick so that you get on focus as fast as possible with minimal effort. Um, the reason that's important is that if you've got a stiff focus wheel that takes forever to turn and turn and turn to get something in focus, you're playing with your binoculars more than you are actually observing nature, which is the last thing that we want. Uh, the idea is that you know the binocular should kind of be an extension of your hands and an extension of your eyes and not get in your way at all. So that, that smart focus concept that Zeiss made for uh, both the Victory SF and these is just phenomenal. It makes it really a breeze to get things in focus really quickly. Um, the other part of the name in SFL, uh, that L means lightweight. The idea with these was to give people as light of a binocular as possible uh, without sacrificing much brightness. So um, again, this is the 10 by 40 that I've got in front of me here, but this would also apply to the eight by 40. That objective lens there is 40 millimeters in diameter, uh, which gives you a nice uh, big exit pupil and a bright image. And um, that's all accomplished while this looks and feels like a 32 millimeter binocular in terms of how it, uh, you know, just the physical size. So uh, it's about 22 and a half ounces, I believe. And that's a little bit more common for binoculars that are in the eight by 32, 10 by 32 size. Um, but again, you maintain the benefit of having that bright image that you get with uh, the larger binoculars. So that's just a quick breakdown of what the name means. Uh, now let's get into the glass and coatings and all that stuff. All right, so uh, before I actually get into the, the glass and the coatings and all that fancy stuff, uh, I did want to do a little quick detour about the price point. These, uh, as of the time this video is being recorded in March of 2024, are about $1,800 at retail. For a long, long time, Zeiss had their Victory SF that I already mentioned uh, right around $3,000. They then had this giant gap between that and their more mid-range model called the Conquest HD, which cost right around $1,000. The idea with the SFL was not only what I mentioned already with the, the lighter form factor and maintaining that brightness within that form factor, but there was also you know a, a strong desire in the community to get that giant price gap narrowed a little bit. So now they've got the Conquest at 1000 for people that are looking for a little bit better optical performance and better ergonomics uh, without going all the way up to 3000 bucks. You've got the SFL now at 1800 and then if you really want to spring for it you know, and you want the top of the line performance that you can get, uh, that Victory SF is still available. But that was one of the, the missions with the, the SFL binoculars was to narrow that gap and just give people a little bit more to choose from. So with that in mind, um, how does it compare to the binoculars on either end of the spectrum? So the Conquest HD, uh, which I don't have in front of me today, is uh, definitely a down step in terms of the optical quality compared to these. I will also note that these are definitely a step down in terms of the optical performance compared to the Victory SF. But you know, for a $1,200 difference, that should be expected. You know, you're not going to get the same optical performance that you get uh, at $3,000 as you do as $1,800. So that said, the objective lenses that they use in these are what they call their UHD line, which means like ultra high definition. And I definitely see the increase in quality over the Conquest and a slight decrease in quality uh, compared to the Victory SF. So I think that the price point is pretty reasonable for that. Um, on top of that, they do have the same lens coatings that both of those binoculars have to give you the most light transmission that you can get. Uh, the SFL, I believe, has gotten about 90% light transmission, which is not quite as high as the Victory SF, but it's still amazing for most birding applications and hunting applications. So uh, on top of that, these do have the field flattening lens that Zeiss uses in the Victory SF. And what that does is it gives you a nice pristine image across the whole field of view. Uh, that way you don't get fuzzy edges and a nice sweet spot in the middle. The whole image is nice and pristine. So uh, there's plenty of people that will probably hear this stuff that I'm saying and, and say, Pete, why are you being so picky? Well, uh, you know, I really want to emphasize that this is a huge consideration for a lot of our customers that have arthritis in their hands. 
having a focus wheel that doesn't get in their way at all, that they don't have to struggle against. And those are just really important, especially if you're going to be doing a lot of, you know, long viewing sessions. If you notice it when you're testing out binoculars in the store, you're only going to notice it, you know, way, way more when you're actually out there in the field and using these for hours at a time. So just wanted to highlight that. And, uh, you know, that in a nutshell is our rundown of the SFL 40 binoculars that, uh, have quickly become some of our best sellers ever since Zeiss released them in 2022. Uh, if you want more of your questions answered, if you don't think I've covered them in this video, you can always reach out to us on social media or you can give us a call at 877-674-2473. Uh, I'd love to have a chat with you to see if either the SFL is the right tool for you or if something else is and uh, just understands your needs a little bit better. So uh, once again, this has been another uh, review video from Optics for Birding. Um, can't wait to talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.